so how do you make the best of the WA rental market, whether you're an existing uh, landlord or a potential investor? So, you know, I think in, during the COVID period, people had a lot of concerns around the impact that it would have on the residential rental market. What we can share with you is that um, the COVID impact on the market has actually had a very consolidating effect on the residential rental market, with vacancy rates dropping significantly and rentals certainly stabilising. So we've gone from a period where Perth had over 11,000 properties vacant down to something like two to 3,000 properties currently available in the Perth market. And, and we've also seen that uh, vacancy rates have dropped from very large uh, record highs to very, very low um, uh, rates, uh, probably uh, as, as low as we've seen in many, many years. In fact, the, the average rental uh, vacancy rate is probably less than 3% in Perth at the moment. And here at the Real Mike Urban offices, we're seeing that the vacancy rates are even close to less than 1%. So this is going to have an impact ultimately in, in the marketplace. And what we're seeing is there now is a stabilization of rentals and rentals are probably on their way up. We've already seen a modest 1% increase across houses and a, and a similar uh, increase in the, the rental in terms of apartments. Um, and this rental is probably very attractive, particularly as it's coming off of a very affordable base here in WA. So the outlook for security return in terms of residential investments is certainly as best it's been in the WA context and particularly in the Perth metropolitan context than it has been for a long time. Obviously the WA market is not impacted as much by the reduction in travel demand for these sorts of accommodation and that's probably another encouraging aspect to give us confidence if you're investing in this marketplace. In terms of what landlords should be doing at this time, to make sure that their investment is fine-tuned, uh, we would sort of counsel a couple of things. First of all, in the current finance environment, I think it's very important to give consultation to a good finance broker to make sure that the finances around your interest rate repayments, your LVR, and those sort of considerations are as certainly as good as you can get in the current climate, because there certainly are very attractive propositions available for existing landlords or new um, investors coming to the property market. And certainly we can rec recommend our capital associates, finance brokers in that arena. And then in terms of rental and letting, once again, I think it's very important to consult and inform property managers such as those that we have at Real Mark Urban and, and really take the advice of what they can give you around how the market is playing out in your particular suburb and in particular your type of property, be it an apartment or be it, be it a house in, in, in the suburbs. If we look beyond... Um, those generalised considerations, I suppose what we're seeing is some of the areas that probably are being very attractive for renters and therefore investors are areas such as the CBD, um, Mount Lawley, East Perth, South Perth Como, um, Applecross. These sort of areas are certainly the areas that are very sought after um, by a, a cross section of renters and certainly we can advise you in, on all of those markets. So if you're giving some consideration to what you should do with your existing rental property or looking to invest in the rental property, um, certainly take the advice of a Rural Mark agent. I'm sure that will be your best move at this time in the WA property market.